So that's two crates of pale ale and one bottle of dandelion and burdock. How many more you got out there? Just one more. Don't worry, you should be home in time for match of the day. <laughs> Oh, hello, Sam. Hey, morning. Is our cell winning? No, everything's intact and repaired. <laughs> Even got the urinal back in its original position. That's a great relief. <laughs> so we was right about the maker's name. They are by appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, before he turns up, can you do me a favour? Depends on how much you want to borrow. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this afternoon, I don't want our cell in the way. I don't want him at home all afternoon and through tea time. If you want him back afterwards, I think we could arrange something permanent. <laughs> well, I'm not bothered myself, but my mother might take it bad, you know. Nothing much happening here in the afternoon. Just a stripper across dinner time. I'm against these strip shows. I propose a water central at the next committee meeting. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> La Belle Exotica. She does a very clever routine with a pair of ferrets. Oh, my God. This house is partridge. She helps with school meals Monday to Friday. You know where else, eh? Selma won't come in the club, you know, if there's a stripper. So what you're really asking is for us to get Selwyn out of the way by lying and deceitfulness and causing him much distress, embarrassment and discomfort? That's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be a pleasure. <laughs> well, thanks very much. I must be off now. I'm prepared to cover any expenses or overheads up to about 30 bob. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice. Yeah, plus VAT. Hey, what are you going to do to Selwyn then? I'm working on it, boy. Oh, I can see the steam coming out of your ears. <laughs> I've worked on it. <laughs> Hey, oh, I'm the cooking for the kid. Are you going, boy? Oh. <laughs> hey, there's a Times Literary Supplement I finished with. If anybody wants it, it'll be there. All right? Hey! hey. <laughs> no! Look! <laughs> Great. Hey, we're at our Morris I saw leaving. Haven't seen your Morris for months. Well, must have been Mikey Harwood. <laughs> does, does impressions, doesn't he? Hey. <laughs> Uh, excuse me a moment, Sel. I, um, I wonder if you'd do us a favour, boy. Uh, what are you doing this afternoon? Your <laughs> <laughs> mum's told me about fellas like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm dead busy this afternoon, Taff. Clive? Yeah, well, I'm still busy, Clive, you see, cos uh, Amorish's girlfriend's coming round for tea. Oh, that's a pity. Why? Well, uh, so you wouldn't be interested in umpiring a cricket match, then? Cricket match? What, this time of the year? Well, it's a charity match. Yep. In aid of disabled speedway riders and vicars who've fallen hard times. <laughs> oh, well, I like to help because I like, I like doing all for charity, you know, and, and I love sport, but, I mean, Anne Morris would be a bit upset, you know what I mean, because... Who's playing? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's uh, Yorkshire. Yorkshire? <laughs> yes, I believe the captain, um... Oh, what's his name again now? Geoffrey, uh, Geoffrey Boycott. Well, I believe Geoffrey did ask whether you would be available, see? <laughs> Did he? Oh, well, I mean, he would, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know him? No, no, I, I'm not actually met him, but, but, but I did once think of going down to Edinburgh for a trial, you know. And, and, and this fella told me, he said that, that, that Geoffrey were very keen on me playing for Yorkshire. But I thought I couldn't be bothered because it would have interfered with me open university studies. You know? <laughs> but but this, this fella said that he, he, he was real upset and he said, well, you know, you just have to, just have to manage with Chrissy Old. <laughs> it's no wonder they wanted to umpire then, isn't it? Yeah, who, 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 who are they playing? Oh, they, uh, they're playing, um, uh, do you remember? Uh, <laughs> the Times Literary Supplement, All Stars. <laughs> That's right. The Times... Right, hell, I, I, I didn't even know they got a team. <laughs> All the world's great writers, like... Uh, Harold Robbins. Harold Wilson. <laughs> Sir John Benjamin. George Bernard Shaw. Hey, I've heard of him. Link breaks and Googlers. Get a bit of rain on the wicket, he's deadly, is George Bernard. <laughs> but the team is still provisional, of course. I know, but, but do, do they want me to umpire as well? Oh, Sir John Bexman was very insistent. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to upset our Morris, you know, but I mean, with, with, with Geoffrey and, and Sir John, I, I mean, what, what time's the kickoff? <laughs> Three o'clock this afternoon. Three o'clock? Well, yeah, where, where's the venue then? The venue? You know, where, where are they playing like? <laughs> ah, ah, they're sending instructions by hand in the form of a map. So we'll go and get your umpire set on. You uh, you have got an umpire suit, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I have, yeah. What are they wear? What people ought to come for you should be wearing. White coats. <laughs> <laughs> White coats? <laughs> My mum's got one. She certainly has. <laughs> right then, go and get ready then, boy. And, right. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll, we'll have the instructions ready for you, isn't it? Great. It'll be good. I, I could finish up like Dickie Bird, couldn't I? <laughs> have you seen it? When he signals are four, he can signal like that. Uh, magic. <laughs> And, and you, you know that George Bernard Shaw you said with the, the leg, leg spinners? I used to bowl leg spinners. Hey, do, do you know how you do a leg spinner? You get the ball like that and you just go. 
I'll, uh, I'll get that fixed when I come back. Who's going to pay for that? Hello, Morris. Your dinner's in the oven, sir. I don't want any dinner. I want a white coat. <laughs> what, what do you want a white coat for? I'm sorry, Morris. I've got, I've got, I've got a bit of a disappointment for you. Oh, what's that then? I'm, I, I can't be here to meet your, your, your very dear friend, Vera, this afternoon. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I know, I've, 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 I've been asked to, to umpire a cricket match. It's a charity match between Yorkshire and the Times Literary Supplement All Star. Geoffrey Boycott asked for me especially. Yeah, well, he would, wouldn't he? <laughs> hey, this is the one. Yeah. Hey, George Bernard Shaw's playing. George Bernard Shaw? <laughs> I've heard he's a very good wicketkeeper. Well, he's not a wicketkeeper, he's, he's a leg spinner. Get a bit of moisture in the wicket and he's deadly as George Bernard. Hey, how does this look? All right. Yeah, great. Yeah, fantastic. I'm going around the club because Taffy's waiting for me with a venue. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll bet you'll be sending a few off this afternoon, Selwyn. Only if they deserve it. <laughs> hey, out there! Watch out! <laughs> This is uh, Vera, Mother. Hello, Mrs. Froggett. Hello, love. I've heard a lot about you. But you don't want to believe everything you hear. <laughs> Where's your brother, Morris? He's had to go out, unfortunately. <laughs> My God, that stripper was good, wasn't she? Very versatile. Never seen anyone do that with ferrets before. I knew the specially trained for it, them ferrets. I think it's disgusting. A bad exotic, eh? She's a lovely lass. It's even worse than last time. Keep watching, son. One of these weeks, the ferrets mightn't turn up. Yeah, but they're gonna look. Hey, I wonder how Selwyn's getting on. Selwyn, what's he doing? He's umpiring a cricket match. <laughs> He's doing what? It's a charity match. Jeff Boy could ask for him specially. It's between Yorkshire and the Times Literary Supplement All Stars. <laughs> and apart from that, there isn't really a match at all. <laughs> <laughs> I see. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Where's the treasure, fella? I know. <laughs> Disgraceful. Diabolical. <laughs> well, you go and have laughing. <laughs> I tell you what, at the end of the afternoon, we'll drive out then, see how he's getting on. Might <laughs> even see Jeff Boy go batting. <laughs> that was lovely, Mrs. Froggett. Are you sure you've had enough? Well, quite sure, thank you. Well, Mother, what do you think? Well, she's a bonny lass, but by heck, she doesn't half steam through the digestive biscuits. <laughs> this where you sent him, is it? Oh, I gave him a map. Been last year's map. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's the mallard. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Gresley Pacific, A4 class. You know, this locomotive attained a world speed. Three guesses as to who's come back. Don't tweet, ma'am, I'm starving. There's no biscuits left. Uh, this is the evening star, the last steam locomotive built by British Railways. You should have to kick out to start it, so why it's got a tender behind. <laughs> but that's isn't it. Hey, are, are you, you are Morris's very good friend, Vera. That's right. I'm Selwyn. I guess. You're umpire in a cricket match. No, I'm not. I'm standing here talking to your very good friend, Vera. Isn't it, Vera? <laughs> you know, yeah, your pitch were unfit. Needed in every roller and they haven't got one, so I abandoned it. Here you are, Selwyn. Give you something to do with your mouth. Where's my pot? Selwyn. <laughs> got these because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Young Toff got nice eyes. Thank you. No, no, I mean it, honestly. They're lovely. Both of them. <laughs> Thank you. Do, do you know something? That I'm not kidding. The, the, they both look exactly alike. <laughs> so, <laughs> haven't you got something to do? No. I'll... <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to, to, to a Speedway meeting. I've never been to one before. I, I, bet, I bet you know a lot about Speedway, don't you, Vera? Hey? No, I don't like Speedway. The dust gets in my eyes. What, both of them? <laughs> well, unless I keep one shut. Uh, have to make sure it was the right one, wouldn't you, hey? <laughs> Selwyn, if you don't get going, I'll separate you from your breath. No, don't go on at him like that, Morris. I think he's lovely. <laughs> I'm going to give him a great big kiss. I'm going round the club. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Come on. <laughs> Show up, tough. <laughs> I told you before, my name's Clive. Can't be. He come from India. <laughs> Clive of India. Good job, that, isn't it? Pint of cooking. <laughs> Popped in to inspect the wicket, have you? <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> Cricket. Oh, I, I mean, you being a first-class umpire. Oh, the green sword, the white flannel. <laughs> the unmistakable sound of willow on skull. <laughs> How is Jeff? Jeff who? Your pal, you know, Jeffrey Boycott. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, oh, he's, he's, he's great. He ate Meg Undred, did he? Meg <laughs> No, I... I uh... I abandoned it. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I did, honestly. It was terrible. It, 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 the, 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 the pitch, it were, it were unfit, it were all bumps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you get the world's greatest riders playing on there, you know. Because, I mean, they right with the fingers, don't they? Oh. I mean, you get Chrissy Old slinging them down, smash the fingers to bits, wouldn't it? <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing Alan Wilson batting. <laughs> Some John Betjeman fielding. Yeah. George Burns, your ball in. <laughs> Shall we tell him? <laughs> Much abandoned love, Selwyn! <laughs> Good night, <take> <laughs> I, I, I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew what? You knew what? I, I knew you were having me on. Because you gave yourselves away, didn't you? A Ray gave it away when he said about George Bernard Shaw being a leg spinner. Because the check with our Morris is not a leg spinner, he's a wicket keeper. <laughs> Boy, never mind. To him, life is just to play. Every day's a holiday. He's in everybody's way, but never mind. You've seen Selwyn do his stuff. Never mind. He's ready and he's rough. Never mind. He has wrecked the hot dog stall. The dartboard's gone and all. The urinals of the wall. But never mind.